So you've created your worms drawing. Now I'd like you to shade it. And what you'll discover is that going from dark to light is what makes things look three dimensional. So what I'm going to have you do is I'd like the edges of your worms to be dark. And I'd like you to fade up and out to white for the center. So I'm moving my hand way back on the pencil. And I'm just putting a soft gray on the worm. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Think of it like you're physically pushing it down. The more I push on this edge, I'm trying to push this down into space and let this rise up. And in many ways, that's what we're doing because dark colors look like they're disappearing, disappearing into a cave. And the white looks like it's coming forward. So what I can do is I can start repeating that. Maybe where it gets thin, a color totally dark. It's back in the cave, the edges. And then again, the edges go from dark right at the edge and fades to white. And we leave the middle of the worm bright white. So dark, dark, dark at the edge. Sometimes if I lose that line, I can just go right back over it and leave the center white. Dark at the edge. And as I get to the middle, let it fade out. Dark at the edge. As you get to the middle, fade out. And just like the cross contour lines, the more I do this, the more I shade, the more complete it is, the more my illusion really starts to occur. Dark at the edge, fade to the white. Dark at the edge. So I really want to just leave the center white. Otherwise, I want lots of gray. I want that tip to tuck in there. And the way I make that happen is I make them dark. Pushing it in there with my pencil tip, which also means I'm making it dark, push, 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 dark, 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 then it seems to like push back in space. Over, 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 dark, that pushes that edge down and leaving that center white lets it feel like it's popping forward. Take some time and you can really create a cross contour three-dimensional drawing that has some shading on it.